My mother in law said that's why my second son is so relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's pretty chill, though. It is pretty chill. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but that's not a great thing to look for. And I think that's a rare thing for a doctor because they're busy and to respond to emails is a lot. Good point. Yeah. And if you're already seeing them once a month, you know, stuff comes up. Right. And I think it helps them too because stuff can come up when they're like, you really should come in, or it's nothing. You know? Like, I fell over a chair. And I, I was that person that feels stupid calling. So then I emailed him and I was like, oh, I fell over a chair. Should I come in? And he's like, uh, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah. Thank you. My pleasure. Guts is a hard though. They're hard to find in New York City too because if you don't have one, it's often they won't take you or there's a list or. You need like a good referral. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like a person who yeah. they know really well to say. Yeah, because they always have a secretary mm -hmm. that I feel is like they're like I am full. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Nope. No can do. Right. Yeah. And I always end up telling them my whole like history when I was looking for a new doctor. You're like, why am I telling a stranger everything? And like, and then no, I said this, <laughs> I called this other doctor and I was like, so and so referred me, but this is my story and I don't know if I want to switch, but I want to meet the doc and I'm like talking to this person like, right. do you really want to be hearing all this from me? Oh, yeah, it's funny. LT, what do you have anything? I don't know. I won't, I, after playing with your children yesterday, I want, I want, oh, I want toddlers, I'm sorry. I want, yeah, I want, I want them to be born. I want, I want like them to be like born three. already at three and already like walking and crawling. I know, like you guys know that you really know what you're talking about. You know when like the cute little baby and the dad's like all sweet. I'm a, I, yeah, I'll pass it off. No, I like the little babies, but I always feel like, I, I just feel like I, I have to do, I'm always ready to move around and do, because like, you know, JR's always yeah. like, woo! And I'm like, yeah, let's run, let's do this. I like all that time. That's my favorite time. Like, yeah, even when growing up with my nieces and nephews, I loved them when, like, once they started crawling and walking and la la la, because they were like, go to Uncle Larry. That's See, that's fun. a dude thing. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Like, most, well, like, it's not everyone, but most yeah. women, it's like the baby. Yeah. The baby. <laughs> and then it's like, oh my god, they're running everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, before you had your first child, yeah. could you, like, throughout my life I could project myself into the certain, like, buckets, right? Yeah. Like, I've graduated college, I've got my first job, you know, yeah. like, you could always see the future. I can, I'm like, I can't even envision it. I don't think you can imagine it, and I think... And then, and that worries me, because, like, there are women that are like, I can't wait to have a baby. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but that was a, like... I remember, it's like a random story, but I remember growing up with a really good friend who's Brazilian, and I'm English, right? So English people are not so, you know, huggy and all that kind of stuff. And she, every time she see a baby, she would like get into the stroller and be like, you know, doing all this stuff. And I, as a very young child, I was like, oh my God, am I not going to be a good parent? Because I, for whatever reason, don't get all into the baby strollers and get all crazy. And the moment I had my own kids, I was all up in their face, kissing them like a thousand times a day. It's just different people are different ways with their own kids and other people's children. And for me, I'm still kind of that way. Like, I'm still, with my own kids, like, I want to stop kissing them. It irritates them all the time. But with somebody else's <laughs> kids, it takes me a while to warm up. Because I don't, I'm just like that with strangers. Like, I don't know them very right. well. And then other people, it's like the first thing they do when they walk in the house, whether they know you or not, is they'll pick up your baby and, like, swing it around. And so it just, it doesn't say anything about what type of parent you're going to be. You know what I mean? Because when it's your child, it's really different. So that's really true. Yeah, it's really true. Really true. You know, yeah. as you go to your friend's house, you just have to be like, did you want to hold George? I'm like, not really. <laughs> Does he need help? I mean, I won't go to my friend's house. With the, I won't go to my friend's house with the twins because you kind of have to help out with twins. Yeah. But right. one baby, you're like, no, no, it's fine. With the other baby, they're like, you got to help out. It's cool. Like, I'm like, oh. You can't just like the baby, you know, like, like, one of them's like, you can't oh, just leave the other one crying and let the mom, yeah. like, have to no, go yeah, to Definitely. Food, right? It's just, like, different types of people. Right. And now that I have kids, I find it, I'm more confident, right? Yeah, sure, of course. So then with other people's babies, of course, I like to hold them. But I'm still kind of respectful and not, I don't need to run into a room and, like, grab the baby right, and start, right. like, running. And other people, they love to do that. It's just, but it, it definitely, when I was younger, because I was an only child, too, it made me feel kind of insecure about the whole thing. Yeah. Because I was like, well, why don't I want to, I know I want kids, but why don't I want to, you know, get in that stroller and do that with a cheek? <laughs> and they even know what to do with that cheek. Yeah. You know? like, you're like, 
And different kids are really different too. You know, like my oldest son hates it when people do that to him. Yeah. And he's like, and he knows it. He's like, uh, you know, you gotta work hard. You get to know him, yeah. and then he'll let you in, and yeah. then he's really into it. <laughs> my youngest son will take love from anybody. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter. It's just, <laughs> if you want to give me a kiss? That's great. And I think that's the same thing. Like, as people, we're different yeah. too. Yeah. So. And it's funny too, like some of my husband's friends that haven't had kids when they come over and hold the baby, it's like they hold the baby like this. <laughs> and I know they're going to be dads, and I know they'll figure it out, and they'll <laughs> hold the baby, and it'll be more normal. So I just, everybody's different. I yeah. won't let it affect you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good and when you get your baby, it's a different. Yeah. Because you've had, like you said, you've had nine months of carrying a baby, and it's still kind of shocking, like, when the, the baby comes out there. I remember just, like, staring at my son. Oh, God. It's cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they like stare back at you, like, oh my god. <laughs> they just went through a crazy experience. It's kind of crazy. It's just, it's strange. The whole thing is like, it's kind of what? It is, it is. Yeah. So the fact that it all works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. It just happens. I, yeah, I. It's like alien almost. Like, when you really think about it, like. The fact that like the same thing Long happens for each human. kid and like the same <laughs> set of things, body parts form. It's just, it's so, and I'm a science person, but like it's just still, and to be experiencing it, it's just, it doesn't seem like it should really be able to happen the same for everyone, but it does. Oh, then it happens inside. That it happens. Like, it's like, it's there's a like, human being in you. Yeah. I'll always tease my friends before I got pregnant. I'm like, oh, you can be tired. You have a person inside of you. Like you're walking around with a human being in you. And when it's actually you and you feel it, it's weird. it's nice. I mean, it's great and awesome, but it's weird that it actually happens. It is amazing that it can happen. Yeah, I think that's why the, when you get pregnant, like you realize what a miracle it is, because it's just you just go about your day doing your thing, and it's like a baby right mm -hmm. there. It's kind of wild. Yeah. <laughs> You're excited. <laughs> <laughs> You're like excited and totally freaked yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's really like really good to hear. Yeah. Um, you know, we just came from the doctor who, you know, 39, yeah. so there's a little bit more work to be done than, you know, a little bit younger, so, you know, you're putting extra effort into it, and you, I've, you know, we work a lot, and it's going to change our lifestyle a lot, and it's just, and my husband loved to have twins or triplets, and yeah. I'm like, are you on drugs? Like, this is, he works all the time, so it's fully my responsibility. Right. Which we know, we've talked about, and I'm fine with that, and get help and all that great stuff but you know it's you know drastically changed so many things so it's just so helpful to hear like for people outside of my day-to-day -day, outside of my friends who think you know I live in some la la land but like I don't think it's going to be not that I think it's going to be a cakewalk but yeah being type A knowing that I can still maintain myself the way I like to like you know it's just the girls that work that drive me crazy I mean yeah they're just can't even talk to them. You know, clearly they stop in your doorway. Yeah, because you're thir you know you're 39 yeah. and you're married. Everybody's looking for you to like, you know, have a baby. baby. So yeah. they're like, when's it happening? I'm like, I don't even know you. Go away. Yeah. Like, it's so like yeah. not an appropriate question. It's to really ask. insensitive too. Yeah. I think people don't know what your situation exactly. is. And it's, yeah. You know, or it's like you want to look at someone single. Be like, are you ever gonna get married? Like, <laughs> do you, I don't want to open my can of worms. Yeah. You have to give it back to yeah. them. You have to give it back to them because then they'll. Then they'll and completely you know, stop all that. And then just hearing, like, you, it, you'll you never be like the way you are. I'm like, oh my god, you never started off good. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> somebody to go low blow. You are always a slob. And that's what I think. I think gonna remain. Yeah. Yeah. That's somebody that doesn't like who they are yeah. or who they become. You know, because they kind of, they're angry about it. Yeah. And right. they can't possibly believe that anybody else out there can have children and still feel good about themselves. Right. Well, and and that's just a really negative place to be. Yeah, all the changes are. None of the changes have to be negative. I agree. Yeah. It, it can be a very positive change. Mm -hmm. And I think that's it. I just need to move away from the negative yeah. thoughts just that people, out. Yeah. you know, just even saying like, I don't know, when I stumbled upon, you know, all your stuff, I was like, I think I can do it. There's great clothes out there. I can survive. <laughs> I, <laughs> love, I, love I know that. I can survive. And this, the diaper clutch is like, like made for me. <laughs> and like, <laughs> this, <laughs> girl sits in the office next to me, oh, she's like, that. why would you spend that kind of money? I go, I spend that kind of money now, <laughs> and I'll wear it once. Like, it's just yeah. like, right. who I am, and like, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. And don't, just because you still wear, you know, 
sushi pants all the time because that's the way you've always been. Like, and there's nothing wrong with that. But like, don't make me feel. It's okay to look good. It's okay to look good. Yeah. And like, there's people out there that just don't. I can't get wrap my head around people who just. But that is the thing that. It's so hard to it's, like. Yeah, it sounds weird me saying this, but the one thing about becoming, it's about being a woman in general. Like, I'm mm -hmm. always shocked how. Um, like women are off, either women can be like the most amazing thing to each other and the best of yes. friends, or women can be really harsh yes. on each other, and it's really difficult. And I think being a woman in general, that you experience that, and when you become a mother, it sort of takes it to another level, yeah. because there becomes this level of competition because it's just—it's not just about women; it's about women and their children. So, I found when I first became a mom, I was working, and I didn't. My friends weren't having babies yet, and I didn't really have any mom friends, and I felt like I should have mom friends, <laughs> you know? So I would try so hard to, like, find moms, and just kind of, you feel like for the sake of your baby, but my baby was, like, three months old, and he didn't really need a play date. But I was really trying hard. And you'd go to these lunches, and I would just come back feeling like the worst mother. Because people would compare, like, how much is your baby eating, like, how much is your baby weigh, like, have you got this gadget, like, have you guys got that? And I would get so, like, oh, yeah, where is that? You know, they're in the way now that I don't have this stroller, like, I'll be out of my stroller, ever. And it's just, you have to, when you become a mom, you have to stay strong and, and remember who you are and know that you're doing the best job. Even if somebody else has a furry sweater cloth and you don't have it, it doesn't mean you're a bad mom. But you get crazy. You know, and it's like, it's really, it's a really interesting place to be because I have some mom friends that I couldn't live without, you know, and like, when I'm like at my wit's end, I'm tired, and I'm like, can I do this, like, they really keep you going, and then there are other moms that just make me feel like a horrible person, yeah. and I just, I just avoid Intentionally? that. Intentionally? No, intentional. I just think that it's kind of like the woman that you're talking about, yeah. you know, they, they've got themselves into a kind yeah. of rut, and if you're not doing the same thing as them, you're a bad mom, yeah. because that makes them feel better about right. their choices. Right. And people's choices are all really different, and mm -hmm. pregnancy and parenting brings that up like nobody's business, like breastfeeding, how you choose your baby, how long you breastfeed for, whether you breastfeed, what stroller, does your baby sleep for the night, how many naps, like, do you make your child sit at the dinner table, does yeah. your child watch TV, yeah. all this stuff, people become very, very um, sort of strong and obsessive about their choice. And if you don't make that choice, it's like you're in at odds.